welcome to another episode of Cappuccino Crafts. Uh, my name is Cheryl, and this is my crafting and bookish uh, chatty podcast. So um, thank you for watching and choosing to spend a little of your very valuable time with me. I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoy it. Um, so let's settle in, please. I hope that you um, get a beverage to enjoy, whatever beverage you like, and um, settle in, get out your yarn, your needles, your hook, maybe your fiber and your spinning wheel, um, whatever you want to do, and let's have a very good crafty chat today. Um, Oh, and my username on social media is Cappuccino136. I am active on Instagram, Ravelry, and Goodreads. And so uh, feel free to um, look me up on any of those if you like. Um, or not. Uh, it's definitely not a requirement. Um, nothing's required. <laughs> there are no requirements here. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and that information and other, uh, details about yarn or pattern names, books and TV shows and other things will be below this video in the information box. That is where I put my show notes. Um, so I hope that's helpful for you if you want to um, search or look anything up um, and, and get more information about it. Yeah, so it, time is just flying so fast. Another week. Today is October 14th. And here in the United States, it is um, Columbus Day. Um, and recently, um, some people have wanted to take this holiday back and um, instead honor indigenous people. So some people um, are choosing to uh, celebrate Indigenous Peoples Day um, today. But I just thought I'd mark that, where we are in the calendar. Um, and also, this past week, I can't remember which day it was, it was Mental Health Awareness Day, which I think is a very important topic. Um, and I'm glad that um, anything we can do to, to try and um, raise awareness or um, help have discussions about those things is a good thing so yeah and oh one more thing <laughs> fiber share I know I in past uh, episodes I've talked about that um, the fiber share swap organization um, very soon um, I think this coming week uh, will be the opening of signups. And I think the signups are open for about seven or eight days. And because you do have to sign up to participate in the swap. And you do have to pay a small fee, which goes to... Um, some of the administration, but also it goes to being able to purchase replacement packages for things that get either lost in the mail or not sent because unfortunately sometimes that does happen. Um, but they try and take care of everybody so that um, no matter what, everybody um, that signed up gets something. Um, so uh, they use the money for that. Uh, anyway, it's a wonderful swap. I'm not going to do it this. I ha I'm not. I'm not going to sign up for this round, 
and I've only done it one time. I want to do it again soon, but I just don't feel good about doing it right now. This year has been a big, big year for me, and I still feel just a little overwhelmed with some things and just don't feel like I have the the attention and time and brain space to give to um for for doing a swap and um yeah so i'm not but if you are interested in it i really recommend trying it out um and that's why i wanted to um get that out there because the time is coming really soon that you'll be able to sign up and it's fun last year the time that i did it it was this same time of year right before um all the big holiday and it was really fun to do it this time of year it, it was so much fun so um yeah if you've thought about it but haven't done it um it, your opportunity is is here <laughs> they they have their website and you can look up the exact dates and follow them on instagram their fiber share on instagram and they announce all the all the dates and and they'll send out posts like two days left to sign up and things like that so um yeah but i wanted to put in a good word for them uh, and if you sign up let me know um because that would be really fun i hope if you do sign up i hope you have a wonderful experience uh, like i did because i loved it i had a great time and i still message with one of my uh one of my uh swap partners from that and she's a lovely person and it's great great fun great fun so as far as my projects and how they're going, they're going pretty well. Um, I am doing the thumb gussets and almost done with the thumb gussets on the twin leaf mitts. I really like this lace pattern, those leaves. I love leafy and botanical patterns in general. I like those kind of motifs. So these are making me really happy. And this is how far I am on my cardigan. This pattern is the favorite color cardigan and it is a free pattern available from Knitty, which is an online knitting magazine, just all on the internet, on their website, and every pattern on every issue is free. And all the back issues are still available on their website. So it's a great resource and it's wonderful. Um, I have definitely have used knitty patterns before and have had a great experience with they get really um they get a variety of designers to do as far as some of the designers are newly published uh it's their first pattern and they're not super well-known designers and sometimes they get really really it uh interesting very established designers to do patterns too and um so, so you can get a free pattern from a, a pretty big name some pretty big name designers um and yeah so it's wonderful nitty k-n-i-t-t-y nitty.com is their uh website and this cardigan is top down so this is the back of the neck and this is the front and i'm it's gonna have kind of a scoop sort of neckline and 
and this sweater is a different sleeve construction than I've ever done before. Uh, it's called contiguous and it is different from a raglan or a circular yoke where you really get the shape uh, and it, it's a set in sleeve style but done um, where you work the front and back and the top of the sleeve all together at the same time and end up with kind of a yoke like you were doing a raglan yoke or a circular yoke and then um, once you get to uh, finish the top of the sleeves and the um, all the sleeve cap shaping is done then you will split the sleeve and just work on the body and um, you'll have the armholes and uh, work down just like you know just like a top-down sweater goes but um yeah so I'm really I'm liking it I'm, I'm liking the process of it um, and I this is my knit and listen project so I am listening to the Victorian novel Adam Bede which was written by George Eliot and um, I'm listening to Adam Bede while I work on this which is really fun I loving that book loving it a lot um, I do enjoy Victorian literature and um, George Eliot uh, is a Victorian author I have yet to read. I tried to read Middlemarch, but I could not get through all of it. And that was many, many years ago. So maybe it was just the timing. Um, but uh, I, I know I will finish Adam Bede because the story and the characters have really gripped me. So I am not going to stop. Um, But yeah, so the October in Booktube land is Victober, which is Victorian literature. And you read and listen to Victorian, Victorian literature in October. And uh, the knit and listen along is kind of a side event of the Victober um, hosted by Mel of Mel's Bookland Adventures. That is her YouTube channel. I've also been watching um, Kate Howe's channel. She is another booktuber who is um, hosting it with Mel. And she's been posting uh, Victover vlogs. And I've been watching Mel's Victober updates too and following their progress with um, their projects and Adam Bede and the other Victorian things that they are reading uh, this October. They're reading a lot more than I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, uh, I don't read a lot of, generally, I don't read many, many books in a month. And I don't read many, many books at the same time. That's just not how I go. And I'm much more into the knitting and crafting than I am to the reading. Um, so, yeah, my... I don't go through so, so many books in a year. But I'm trying to um, read more. I'd like to increase um, my reading a little bit. Um, and that's part of why I wanted to include books in my videos to um, encourage myself to read more um, than I was. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I recommend watching, if you, are any of you participating in Victober or the Knit and Listen Along? Um, and somebody mentioned in a comment that 
in an earlier video where I was talking about getting ready for it that um, in a comment at least one person has said that she wanted to um, participate so um, I hope I hope she is and any anybody else who has thought about it I hope you are and um, and even if you're just reading with booktube the Victober um, Mel's Victober vlog and Kate's Victober vlog um, have been really fun so uh, I recommend their channels and that's the crafting pretty much and I've been really focusing on Adam Bede so I have not read any of the other books that I was um, in progress on and I what I will say about Adam Bede I already said that I'm loving it which I am and the, why I'm loving it is because I really love the characters and that George Eliot um, has made in this novel I like how she her also her descriptions of the natural world and the the atmosphere I mean she really creates a sense of place and beautiful nature uh, descriptions because they're in a little town the setting is in a small village a farming village so it's very just um, describing the farms and the landscapes and really lovely I and the characters in this village I feel like this is a fully realized village <laughs> you really get a feel of the village life and all the characters that are there in that village um, which is really fun and characters of every class and um, like all the different levels in um, from the the Lord in in his mansion and the the farmers and the the craftsmen uh, Adam Bede is a carpenter so there's the craftsmen and the merchants and all the different aspects of society um, so it, it's really great that way um, and I just I, I'm on the edge of my seat uh, like what I what's gonna happen um, with these characters because I really care about them and I I know that some some things are gonna happen and I'm like oh I hope for the best but, um, yeah so it's it's a gripping read for me very and very enjoyable and um some of the characters knit <laughs> too so she mentioned you know some of the characters are knitting and, oh and she puts down her knitting and she's like mm. anyway so it's good and, and embroidery there's embroidery and spinning and all the crafts all the crafts represented too um anyway yeah so and the and the pets oh my goodness lots of love for all the dogs in the village and the relationships be, between um the people and their pets it's really it's really heartwarming that part too um so yeah all the dogs are included <laughs> I love pets. I love animals are so sweet and um, pets are just so lovely. So that makes me feel good in the book too. Yeah. Do you have pets? Yeah. Do, do, you, do you? Dog, cat, fish, hermit crab, snake? What kind of pets do you have? Yeah. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, yeah, so as far as watching, 
um, loving the good place, loving um, the Great British Bake Off. We're progressing, um, progressing through those series and I think I'm going to be really sad when The Good Place, the final episode, airs. Although I can rewatch. There's four seasons and I can rewatch. Um, but yeah, I'm going to miss it. But I'm enjoying, enjoying the last episodes as they come. And it makes me laugh so hard. And... I finished, I finished this week. Last week I talked about um, a new series that I just started that kind of surprised me because I didn't think it was going to be, I didn't think it was going to be something I wanted to watch, but I decided to give it a try. And surprisingly, I really liked it. And this week I just sped through the rest of it. Um, it's not a lot, it's, called Raising Dion, and it's uh, about a, a single mom and her child, and Dion, young boy, I think eight years old, um, suddenly has really powerful superpowers. Yeah, so it's a little boy superhero and the single mom trying to raise him and keep him safe and it was so good it was like equal parts family family drama and family dynamics and also superhero story adventure mystery there's a big bad um arch villain and 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 that stuff too so it's got a little something for everyone and i would not say this is like a little kid show i mean in that it's not just for little kids um and actually really super little kids i know parts of it might be a little scary for them depending on the kid but um I think this is like an all ages kind of really good family watching show together because it's really got it's got all the elements something for something for all age groups and and really something for everyone to enjoy and um, I think it's really good family watching together um, and I just loved it and I watched it by myself. I did not watch it with my family. <laughs> my parents aren't into that kind of show. I live here with my parents um, in this house. Uh, I take care of them. And we also have a cat. That is our household. Um, but I just watched it by myself. We we didn't make it family watching time. <laughs> but anyway, I, I think it would be... Uh, good family viewing together if uh, you're looking for a show like that um yeah so i think we have come to the end i really don't have anything else i want uh, t i want to um chat about with you um so i hope that you have had a very good week i hope that you and your family are well and that all your creative projects are enjoyable and successful and um, coming out the way that you envision them and thank you if you're still watching you made it through the whole video thank you and um, take care and see you next time